Hello, so in this video we are going to uh, look to save some data in a file and then we're going to look to uh, uh, read that data in. So this is the program, uh, slightly tidied up that we've been using. I've put a couple of changes in, I put uh, something to print all four out at the same time and the energy temperature and angle. Now, what we want to do now, instead of just printing on the screen, we want to um, print out to a file. And of course, it's helpful to save things in a file because then you can go back and look at them later and have a record of what your uh, program's output is. So the first thing we already have, which is the file pointer defined here in, in this line here. And so, to open a file, what we do is we save the file pointer is equal to f open. Now I'm just going to put a file name, I'm going to call it data.txt. And then we need to have a second thing, and this is going to be w, which means this is a file we're going to write. Okay, so um. We then have our variables as before, and we give them values here and above, and we're going to print them on the screen. So what I'm going to do is copy these print statements and change them to f printf statement, which is uh, where we print to a file, and we have then to put of a file pointer to show the computer where to print at the beginning at. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, as well as print on the screen, we're going to print a file with these values. The last thing we need to do when we're uh, printing to, uh, to a file, when we've finished, is to uh, close the file pointer. Okay, so to write a file, we need a step to open the file. And if we're going to write the file, we need to put W to write it. And uh, these are statements where we print stuff out into the file. And this is where we close the file. Okay, now um, one thing to point is I've given this file a .txt extension, a text extension, because fprintf is going to print out this text, and text is a sort of, I think, the best description of what sort of file this will be. Okay, now there's one more thing I'm going to add here, which is, well, actually, let's just run this as it is now. Works. Okay. So it saved the file, it didn't show a, a, an error, and it's printed everything out here. We can't actually see that it's actually um, saved the file. Now normally I would um, now look on the file system to find the file and just examine it to check that it's what uh, we want. But uh, in this interface I'm not quite sure how to do that. So what I'm going to do is something slightly different. First of all, I'm going to set um, new values n1, n2, n3, n4, and temperature and angle and energy. Right, so now, so this is the uh, display we got earlier. And now what we're going to, now I've put in this statement to give, uh, well, I just made everything equal to one, a bit boring, but 
that's um, what I've put in there. So now these values here, which are recorded, are from when we ran the program before without this line here. And so whenever we're printing out here into the file, we'll print these values here. Because that's for the, the sort of value of like n1 is 15, n2 is 23, and so forth. But now when we run the program, what it should print on the screen, it's going to print the file, and then it's going to print on the screen these new values which are so if we run that, okay, everything has gone to one. Now what I want to do, so that's how we write the file. Now just to prove that the file has been written, what I want to do is to read um, the file back in. So we're going to copy that command. Now this time we want to read in the data. We don't want to have a W here, we want to have an R. Uh, another thing to be careful of is whenever you uh, write a file, you are going to overwrite any files which already have this name. But be sort of careful when you do this. Copy this as well. Okay, now this time we're reading in. So we don't want printf, we want scanf. Now, for the f scanf command, it's almost identical to what we had for the f printf. Again, we have the file pointer f it out. Now, if I've used the same pointer here for uh, writing the file, closed it there, opened it again there to read in the file, uh, but we could use a different file pointer, and sometimes you might want to have one file pointer open for reading something in, and another one for writing out at the same time. Um, now, so f scan f, we have our file pointer f in out, and then we're reading now, because the, the file, when we saved it, said n1 is equal to, and then the number, we need to leave exactly the same syntax in there for scanf. We saw in a previous video that scanf can be quite uh, fragile and sensitive. So I'm going to leave everything in there. But what we have to do is put in the address. Oops, that's wrong. The address of n1. Address of N2, address of N3, the address of N4. Down onto the next line. And now, similarly with this statement, we need to read in. When we read in, we use percent %LF. Instead of percent G. And again, we want to have ampersands in front. The numbers we're reading in. And the F close statement is the same. So, what we're doing here is we're setting up some variables here we open a file to write it there we print the file there we change the value of the variables and we print out the new values which weren't the values saved in the file now we're reading in the values from the file and uh, closing that file so to see if it's worked what we're going to do is copy the state these statements here So now we're going to print out uh, the new values. Maybe what we should do here is just push in a printf statement to say uh, sort of values read in from file. 
put a new line at the beginning of that and put two at the end just so as a space just to lay things out a bit more neatly on the screen okay i think that's probably okay let's try running that and see what happens okay so it looks like it's worked so um we set the values of all the things here and it prints them out like that there but with these print statements here we then read in the file with this command here and when we've read in the values of n1 n2 n3 and the energy temperature and angle we get and we print it out and we get back to the original values saved earlier okay so just to recap you can use fprintf you need to have a file pointer and you need to set up your file pointer here with some sort of exp uh, expression with f open and this says that you're writing a file and the rest of this fprint statement is just like the printf statement now when we have a, a scanf command it's just the same as our printf command except we need to put ampersands in front of our variables again we have the f in out to show a file stream where now in this case we've opened a file to read and we've had to convert printing with percent g into reading in with percent lf we always need to do f and after we wrote the file we have the, the close statement and after we've read in the file we have the close statement okay so um now one thing to, to mention here is that generally it, it may be easier just to uh so what i'm going to do is comment out this bit of code let's copy that paste it another way of doing this if you want to save the information and load it in again is just uh, to save things with a space in between now I'm going to run this program it's not going to work because now I've changed the format of the file it's just got four numbers Four numbers there and this f scan f is a fail because it it's not going to find the n1 n2 and so forth so let's but let's just see what happens yes it fails completely it doesn't update the values at all so this is just another illustration of scan f needing exactly the right format so what i'm going to do here is um Copy the F scan F, paste them again, and I'm just going to uh, comment out these statements so the computer will ignore them. Oh, I commented out too much. delete this okay and I need to put a percent there okay I think that should be okay so now the format that we're saving in is just a number a space number space number and this is the format we're reading in again let's try that 
and now it's working again because the format of the file and uh, in terms of which is generated by these reference statements is the same as the format. So the one thing I haven't been able to do with this uh, video is to um, uh, pull out the file which was saved. Um, so if you're uh, trying this, then I strongly recommend after you've printed the file to um, to have a look at it, to find it on your hard disk. And, it. and, um, and when you want to read it back in, then, uh, then uh, make sure that your fprint statements have the same format as your fscanf statement for you. So, and the, the way I normally do this is just by copying and pasting fprint statements and then uh, changing them to fscanf and, and then making any necessary modifications like percent %g to percent %lf and putting the ampersands in front of variables.